Cornus cerisia, red osier dogwood. These are shrubs six to eight feet high, forming dense, multi-stem, rounded masses. The foliage is deciduous, and the leaves are oppositely arranged. Leaves are ovate to oblong, two to five inches long, one to two and a half inches wide. There are five vein pairs present. These usually have a purple to somewhat red fall color. During the growing season, foliage is dark green above and glaucous beneath. Ornamental features of Cornus cerisia. Mildly red stems in the growing season will turn brighter red in the fall and winter to add year-round interest. The red color of the stems varies from a muted dark wine red to a bright blood red. Flowers of Cornus cerisia are dull white born on one and a half inch to two and a half inch diameter flat top cymes in May and early June. After the flowers, a one third inch white droop is formed in August and September. The flowers are fairly insignificant in the summer. Cultural information for Cornus cerisia. These are hardy from zones two to seven, do best in full sun, but will tolerate part shade. They tolerate a range of soil pHs from acidic to alkaline, five to eight, there are many pest, insect, and disease problems for Cornus cerisia. These include dogwood anthracnose, powdery mildew, leaf spot, canker, twig and leaf blights, borers, and so on. They are native in Iowa, the Midwestern and Northern USA, and Canada. These may be listed as Cornus stolonifera. There are a wide number of cultivars available, and the red stems make this a highly attractive option for winter interest. These are usually most effective in the landscape in large massings, especially in areas where the twig color can be contrasted against other backgrounds such as evergreens.